This is what we have been learning in our textbooks. Do you think that this actually happens? Let's check it out. So we have two glasses of water, one hot and one cold. Now we put few drops of ink into both of these glasses. And let's see what happens. Do you notice any difference between the two glasses of water? So in the hot glass of water, we see that the ink is kind of dissolving very nicely and we are gradually getting a blue colored solution. Whereas in the cold glass of water, we can still see the ink separately than the water. So why is this difference? So this difference, now first of all, let's answer this question. So why is the ink kind of getting mixed with water? This is happening due to diffusion. Right? So what happens? Whenever there is a difference in concentration between two substances, the particles tend to move from region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. And the same thing is happening here. The only difference is that when we increase the temperature, what happens is the particles of any substance, they get more energetic. Like when you increase the temperature, what happens? The particles start to move randomly. So the intermolecular spaces between them increase and at the same time, the particles are more energetic. It is just like when you are standing and when you are running. So when you run, you have more energy. So similarly here, when the particles have more energy, they diffuse more. So therefore, the rate of diffusion is more. And as a result, as you see in the hot glass of water by now, we see a uniform blue solution because the diffusion has taken place and we see this entire thing dissolved completely in water. Whereas, if you observe the cold glass of water, here also diffusion is happening but it is happening at, at a very slower rate. Now do you want to make this diffusion faster? Let's see if we can do this. So we take a spoon and we stir this. So the moment we stir it, what happened? Here also we see that uniform solution. So what change did we bring by stirring? So the moment we stirred, we increased the motion of the particles. That is, we increased the kinetic energy of the particles. So the particles became more energetic and the rate of diffusion increased suddenly. And therefore this happened. So with this simple experiment, we proved that the rate of diffusion is directly proportional to the kinetic energy of the molecules and the kinetic energy of the molecules is directly proportional to temperature. Therefore, when we increase the temperature, the rate of diffusion increases. I hope you like this experiment on rate of diffusion. Try this experiment out at your home on your own and like the video, share the video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.